Hi guys, so it's finally here, the refresh we have been all waiting for. I know there is a whole other line of terminators, but ever since I saw these new scouts, I wanted to do this side by side comparison. I bought some old termis on eBay a while back, and they have been just sitting in my closet, so it is nice, at least one of them is getting the spotlight. Also, just to get it out there, this will be my How to Paint Space Marines 101. So, anyway. This will be me showcasing my paint scheme and process for the Blood Angels, but also a nice generic guide for any Space Marine chapter. If you follow these steps, with just different colors. My main issue with Space Marines is that they are just boring to paint. I mean, they are cool, of course, but the power armor can get annoyingly flat and boring to paint, and more so to look at. So here, I basically followed the El Miniaturista recipe for painting Space Marines and it worked like a charm. And as always, the first steps are the most important. Using the airbrush to create the volumetric highlights on the armor is just too powerful tool to ignore and it immediately sets the tone for the whole mini. From here, I just follow the sketch with my mid-tone, shadows and highlights. And as I said, you can use this process for any chapter and even can experiment with the chapter of your choosing with various shadows and highlights for different colors. And here, even if the shadows are really dark, the purple is still recognizable if your eyes get past the really vibrant red on the highlights. Of course, the same process is applied to the old guy. Here the process is a little bit difficult, because of the size of the miniature, but with a little bit time and control the results are much alike. Just a quick note, the quality of the results on the old Terminator are a bit off. Mostly because stripping paint of the 30 year old Mini is just a painful process. From here, the rest is quite simple. These models, other than the armor, have just a few details. So I base coat white for all the gold metallics and also the head, because these are the veterans of the chapter. You might notice a bit of theme with my Space Marines models. I am working on a Blood Angels chapter and hope to get them ready when their codex arrives. Until then, I got my golden boys to clap some cheeks. Even more, I am still waiting for some white loop models for my force. And those jumping marines can get here fast enough. Plus a new sanguinary guard and upgrade to some HQs would be nice. Let me know down below what models are you waiting for and you hope they arrive with their codex. I used black and Vyho gun metal for the auto cannon, and then came in with a grey dry brush, so it doesn't look that flat.
If you want to know my recipe for gold, check out this older video I have. And after these steps, I return to the armor. Last two steps to finish it are black lining and highlighting to give it the definition so the models really pop. And that is basically it. Easy and good looking recipe for any Space Marine chapter. After working with these models for a while, you really start appreciating the sculpt we have today. I do remember working with some metal sculpts back in the day and working on this model gave me some happy flashbacks. But comparing to the new Terminators, we have just advanced so much. Just one more take. I also did some Termis from the previous line, and I have to say I really appreciate the effort GW makes to create these scalps more comparable with these metal ones than the old plastic. The nostalgia of the similar scalps just upscaled and made more dynamic is in my opinion much better and probably more appreciated by the community than making up new stuff. Let's just call it stubbornness from our part. I love the result and I can't wait to paint more of my blood angels. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you'd like to support the channel, subscribe. And I will see you on the next one, very soon. Bye.